Hi, I'm Rebecca Hammond, and welcome to Your Net Worth in Focus, a video series committed to answering personal financial planning questions. As seasoned service professionals, we provide a full range of accounting, tax, and advisory services to closely held businesses and individuals. As members of Katze Bosch's Personal Financial Service Group, we specialize in protecting and maximizing individuals' financial legacies. Hi, I'm Lauren Owak. It's getting towards the end of the year, so today we are going to discuss some year-end tax planning tips. We've identified the top three items to consider for your year-end tax planning, charitable gifting opportunities, retirement plan options, and estate planning considerations. Rebecca, will you start us off? Absolutely. First, we wanna stress the importance of understanding your charitable gifting opportunities. One option to consider is qualified charitable distributions, typically referred to as QCDs. If you have reached age 70 and a half, you can arrange to have up to $100,000 of otherwise taxable IRA money paid directly to certain tax exempt charities. Furthermore, you can count that distribution as part of your required minimum distribution or RMD that you would otherwise be required to take and include in your taxable income for the year. Be careful though, to qualify for this special tax break, the funds must go directly from your IRA to the charity. Something to consider though, is requesting that your financial institution send the check directly to you so that you're able to pass it along to the charity with, with a personal note. This can help the charity identify where the donation is coming from as they otherwise may not be able to figure that out if it came from a financial institution. You could also consider looking into a donor advised fund to maximize your itemized deductions in a given year as opposed to spreading out over multiple years. Also known as charitable gift or philanthropic funds, donor advised funds still allow you to make a charitable contribution to a specific public charity or cause but out of the assets held in this fund. Taxpayers can claim the charitable tax deduction in the year they contribute to the donor advised fund, and the payments can be deferred until a later time if needed. If you have any questions or want more information on donor advised funds, please contact your tax or financial advisor. Second, you should review your retirement plans or consider setting one up if you don't already have one. We suggest you review your IRAs and 401k accounts and determine if a Roth conversion is advantageous or if you can contribute to a non-deductible IRA and then convert it to a Roth IRA. A tax professional or financial advisor should assist you in making this determination. You can withdraw contributions from a Roth IRA or 401k after five years, but wait to withdraw any earnings until you are 59 and a half or there will be a 10% penalty. If you convert a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA or 401k, you also need to wait five years from the start of the next calendar year before you can withdraw the contributions without the penalty. You should consider the pros and cons of a Roth 401k or IRA versus a traditional 401k or IRA. Third, you should review your estate plan. Make sure your estate plan is up to date, including beneficiary names, along with designated beneficiaries where applicable. This should be done every three years or when a major life change occurs, such as marriage, divorce, or birth of children and grandchildren. For 2022, the Unified Federal Gift Estate Tax Exemption is a generous $12,090,000 but will increase to $12,920,000 in 2023. But let's not forget that this exemption is set to sunset after 2025. In addition to this, each state has their own exemption amount with the Maryland estate exemption at $5 million. Also, the annual gifting exclusion is $16,000 per person for 2022 but will increase to 17,000 in 2023. Remember, everyone has a unique situation and it's always best to consult with your tax advisor for your specific needs. Please don't hesitate to reach out to Katz A. Bosch or go to katzabosch.com if you have any questions or would like to go over any specific matters.
Thank you for watching this session and have a great day.